here it's valid values in username and invalid in password username should be valid so admin should not display so it's the same thing user application should prompt the user to enter valid credentials so this is one test case let's add one more test case check the functionality of submit button with invalid values in username and valid values in password field so here it's invalid values here it's valid values username is invalid so let's give that certain and uh, password is uh, valid admin and uh, it should not log in so let's save this so we are actually uh, done with uh, writing test cases for submit button here basically when we are checking the functionality of submit button we are automatically checking the functionality of username and password so if you feel if you want to omit these test cases for username and password it's fine but i just explained you how to write test cases for a text box field so check the function so the submit button test cases are finished what i'll do is i'll just uh, copy this few rows and paste them here and the next one was 1.4 and uh, functionality of cancel button or let, let's write test cases for cancel button delete thing delete this thing so 1.4.1 will be the first test case for cancel button now test the functionality of cancel button with data or values in username and password here we are actually uh, entering values in username and password it could be valid values or invalid values so the test step would be first test step would be the data or values in username second step should be the data values in password 
the this click cancel button so the input values you can give anything here for username let's say tyrer and for password let's say dt some some data there and expected result is the page should refresh or should refresh the page or the page should refresh or the page should refresh the page is one and the same so this is one test case for checking the functionality of a cancel button we could add one more or few more if you want now the next test case would be test to check the functionality of cancel button with data or values in password in username that is now we are actually uh, just entering values in username and we are not entering values in password and we are checking the functionality of cancel button so enter data in username and click on cancel button let's say username is this and uh, delete this again the same thing it should refresh the page now the next test case would be test to check the functionality of cancel button with data in password so we are just entering values in password not in user username field password give some values that's all so page should be refreshed so now we have written test cases for cancel button as well as submit button let's go check the scenarios so we've written test cases for username text box and i believe you know how to write test cases for password text box now i did not write this text box or uh, this password text box test cases and uh, i have written test cases for submit button as well as cancel button so one functionality left now is one one thing to check now is to check the tab flow and the cursor position let's go and write test cases for that oh i should have copied this okay anyways let's copy that and paste and delete uh, your writing test cases uh, the scenarios is tedious but uh, you should have patience so that is 1.5 that was 1.5 scenario number we are checking for tab flow and cursor position so the first test case should be when the user when the login page is displayed the cur the cursor or the control should be in username text box the step for that would be well nothing as of uh, uh, nothing you know because uh, or it could be enter url in the 
enter address in the URL but anyways I uh, cursor should be in username text box input values nothing expected should be in username text box that is here we could actually uh, modify this test case cursor should be in username text box check the check the position of cursor check the position of cursor that would do so the test case to check the position of the cursor we have given that as the description as check the position of cursor so it should be in username now tab flow check the tab flow now uh, expected result should be flow should be proper 